So welcome to another session of Smart Art Business Tips at 10. And today's session is Best Game Changer Business Books. Now I'm hoping to, to make today a little bit more uh, interactive um, so that you can post comments and of books that you've read, <coughs> respond to comments I'm making and the books that I'm sharing. So if these business tips add value, if you can give us a thumbs up, give us a like, that's awesome, love it, spread the word. So it's Peter Butler from Smarter Websites. So you can see on the screen the classic book, The E-Myth Revisited. It's a game changer. I think I think all new entrepreneurs and startups uh, should read this book if they haven't already. Um, I read it a very long time ago. I think a lot of people have. I've actually got the audio book, as you can see on the screen. I've, I've not listened to the audio, but I read the book years ago. Got a couple of uh, uh, copies of it. So it really frames out <clears throat> a story. Michael Gerber goes through a story of what most people's perception of running a business is. And he uses a couple of uh, examples. Um, a lady who is working in a uh, pastry store uh, she's actually working there. She gets an opportunity to take over the store. And then there's a journey of Michael Gerber coaching her to recognize her str strengths and her skill set and to turn it from being a job into a business. So it's an absolute uh, must read. <clears throat> the, um, I'll whiz through these. The next book is Be Obsessed or Be Average by Grant Cardone. Now, I only listened to this a couple of months ago, and uh, I've got to warn especially Australian uh, listeners to this, um, that Grant's pretty full on with the uh, being uh, United States guy, American. Um, he is really obsessive, and, and I got a lot of value from it. I know that some of the people that I've shared with this didn't get as much value, but I thought it was a game changer. It, it almost gave me permission to be obsessive. I, I tend to be a little bit obsessive by nature, and uh, I don't need his blessing or permission uh, to operate on that. But it gave me a real new perspective on it, and I, I was really quite impressed. Um, one of the things that, you know, he talks about is, you know, whatever you apply your skill set to, be obsessive about it, you know, and it's not just about work. He talks about, you know, with your family life, uh, you know, and creating this balancing life, be obsessive about those. And, um, yeah, look, I, I got a lot of value from it. Um, I've actually listened to it one and a half times. So, um, so I, I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> so for those watching at the moment, is there any books that you've, listened to or read that have been game changers in your business. Um, I'll take the uh, comments thread from this Facebook Live and possibly uh, do a screenshot of that. So your comments will be displayed. So that sort of gives you some notability and credibility as well. The whole point of doing these uh, Facebook Lives is to, is to help business owners on the journey and you know, I've got no claim to fame. I, I've been running my own businesses for nine or 30 years, um, but I've run three successful businesses. And so I've got some credits on the board, but we're all on the journey together and we're all sort of climbing that ladder of success. And that's the whole purpose of doing this um, is so that we share with each other and help each other along that journey. Um, the next book I'm going to share came about, uh, my wife actually bought it. Um, it was recommended to her by her daughter, I believe. And I had a presentation coming up. And one of the things I, I can present reasonably, um, I certainly wouldn't class myself as a powerful presenter. And I wanted to know more about presenting. The, the thing is, you see some people and they just have such a presence about them. And it's just really powerful the way they articulate, the way they move, everything they say. And it really sort of dawned on me. It's just being authentic to yourself. And it was a bit of a game changer. Anyway, here's the book. Uh, this is actually a summary version of the book, and it's called Presence. So sometimes I'll actually uh, buy an audio summary or a written summary of a book so I can get a quick overview. Um, and then if I'm impressed, I'll then buy the book. So I was actually bought the book already, but I actually had a presentation coming up only in a matter of a few days. So I didn't have time to listen to the whole book. So I just listened to the summary 
and it gave me the insights that I needed to make that presentation count. Now, that particular presentation, they normally have around 20 or 30 business owners turn up. The subject matter that I was talking about was as SEO, um, and it's a particularly topical conversation or subject. And there was around 60 people turned up for that. So I was really glad that I, I actually had the time to review this presence because I really wanted, and I, I still want to understand it at a deeper level, about how to attain that presence, how to make sure that we come across really authentic, really powerful, and th this is a great book for that. Um, Amy shares her journey of things that happened to, to her in life and the challenges that she faced. And as a result of that, her journey into trying to identify why some presenters have just an incredible presence. Um, so look, that's certainly worth a, uh, a read, oh, certainly at the top of my list. Now, the next book I'm going to share with you is one that was referred to me by one of my team members um, who subcontracts to me, also does some independent work herself, um, Sam Buckley. So there's a shout out, Sam. And we needed to do a video script. And she wrote up a video script and it really nailed the essence of the message in that video. And it's by Donald Miller, Building a Story Brand. Clarify your message so customers will listen. Now, it is a game changer. It is right up there. Now, Donald Miller, he also has a program um, and you actually get some access to some online assets as well. He has a, a portal that you can create, which is free. Um, and it will help you to curate your story brand. And the way he structured, look, I'm, I'm a systems freak. I absolutely love systems. And <clears throat> I systemize everything right down from uh, making coffee in the morning. And um, the way he has created a framework to create your story brand, it, it really is a game changer. It, it is this is like a compulsory read. Now, I've gone on to bought, buy uh, Donald Miller's program, online program. So he's got a free version, which is fantastic, and then a paid version, uh, which is certainly not cheap. Um, but for what I do for my own business and for my clients, uh, this is going to be a game changer tool for them. You know, they say that, you know, when somebody comes to your website or reads your marketing material, you know, you've got five seconds, eight seconds, whatever they say. Um, but the bottom line is you don't have much time to tell people what your business is about and how you can help them solve the problem. And his framework really is simple and it makes so much sense. And the thing is that when you uh, watch movies after you've uh, read uh, this book or listened to this book, um, it, it throws a different slant on everything. You'll see the framework that's uh, used in uh, creating um, scripts and uh, and the like, movies and the like. So look, so that is certainly worth a read. Now, the next battle for me as a business owner is in captured within this book, Clockwork, Design Your Business to Run Itself. And I don't know if I can pronounce his surname. Sorry, Mike. Mike Michalowicz. Um, and this is absolutely brilliant as well. And he's got a program that he uses, lots of free resources, uh, which is brilliant. Now, I'm only sort of halfway through reading this, so um, I can't give you the full scope of the book, but um, he's got a model. It's the four, I can't remember what they're called, elements um, that you need to follow to be able to free yourself from your business. Now, the same as any business, you know, like I shared earlier, we're all on that journey. We're all climbing that ladder of success. And I've automated and systemized a lot of my business. I, I don't have much to do with the support ticket side of my business. I have a team that manage all of that for me and they do a brilliant job. Um, the account side of the business is all sorted. So, you know, we're climbing that ladder, but I'm certainly not free to focus on just what I want to focus on, which is sales and marketing. That's all I want to do. Oh, and productization. I love creating new products. Um, I have a ball doing that. So, so that's my goal is to get to that level where that's all I have to do. 
And this book uh, and this uh, platform, this program uh, that Mike puts out really captures a, a fantastic framework for me to be able to, um, uh, to be able to get to that level. So look, so they're my books that uh, are game changers for me in business. And one of the things that, you know, I think we lack as business owners is that investing in ourselves. You know, I've spent a lot of money over the years doing a lot of personal development and a lot of educating myself in business. And you learn along the way. But I've had sort of focused uh, eras, if you like. And I haven't had that for quite some time. So being able to just focus on one of these subjects at a time. And look, I listen to these audio books while I drive a car. I, I don't have uh, any inclination at the end of a day to sit down and read. And I, I read all day long. I'm, I'm on a computer. I'm reading all day long. I don't want to sit down at the end of the day and read a book. Um, I'll zone out and uh, fall asleep. Or even listen to an audio book. I just need to chill. So the only time I actually get is uh, while I'm actually driving my car. And quite often then, I just want peace and quiet because I, I need quiet time. Um, mind you, my, <laughs> quieting my brain is um, a challenge sometimes. But, you know, try, listening to audio books while I'm driving is a good use of time. So, look, I hope this has uh, added value and make, will make a difference for you. Um, if you want to join our group for more business tips, Smart Tank Mastermind, I'll put a link in the uh, comments thread. Um, if you're watching this live after the fact, um, if you want to make some comments and uh, share this and make comments about what, what have been game changer books um, for you, um, because I would certainly love to be able to share that. And look, it gives you some kudos um, as well. So there's uh, value in that. And if you think a friend or colleague will benefit from this, give us a thumbs up. That's awesome. Love it. Spread the word. And I'll also load this video along with the transcript to my website. So just go to smarterwebsites.com.au and you can check out dozens of previous uh, Facebook Lives, interviews, blog posts, I hope that helps, and if you need any help at all, give me a shout-out. That's Peter Butler from Smarter Websites here. Go and work smarter.